on the Hawkstripe BC or BD 900, which are pretty similar, we have the upper illumination top hat, and it's a little different than the regular BM in that the screws are not on top. Instead, they're on the bottom. You have four screws here, and they are two millimeter Allen wrench screws. They look like this. Take all those four out. If you wanted to take your illumination head off, there's a a lock screw in here with a a bearing that keeps it that keeps it on your tube. And to get that out, we have this screw. And a spring. And a four millimeter bearing that rides on, on these little detents. So if you were going to take it off, you'd unscrew that. And when you take it off, try to lean it down so that when you take it apart, when you take it off, the bearing doesn't fall inside your tube and then get grease on your lens. So try to turn it so that the bearing will fall down and out instead of inside and, and down. Once you take that off and you've taken off your four screws, Take your top hat off slowly. Which exposes your slits. If you need to clean the slits, you can get a cotton swab with some acetone and Clean the slits and be sure and be sure to blow it out with your hurricane blower. And then you have access to the diaphragm and below that are your filters and if you have dust or debris on them you can you can blow it off and if you have debris that won't blow off you can again get your cotton swab with some Windex and Turn your filter wheel till you can see all the different filters. And you can clean them with your cotton swab, with Windex if necessary. 
and then blow them off. Of course, be careful not to touch the diaphragm anyway because you can get debris on that fairly easily and you want to clean your red free filter there also Windex and then a, a dry cotton swab get it all clean and you can put your top hat back on careful about lining it up to the front view cover line it up and slip it back in and then put your four allens back in and don't tighten them up yet because because the top hat doesn't have any studs to keep it in one place it can move and so even when you put put it back together when you're looking through your head it's not going to be centered and because there's a little bit of play in here see I'm moving the bottom and holding the top see the, the play in there so when you're looking through your eyepieces and you close your slits or look at your Dive, different diaphragms to see which way it needs to go, left or right. You can turn the top half one way or the other until you get centered and then you can tighten up your allens. And um, sometimes uh, after you've already tightened it you see, oh I need to, to move it a little bit more. You can either loosen them and turn it a little bit more. Sometimes turned it all the way and it and you still need a little bit more to center it so there's also an adjusting screw right here and that with that adjusting screw you can look through your eyepieces and turn it one way or the other you should be able to turn it even though it's got a lock screw right here that locks the screw in. Um, you should be able to turn it just a little bit. It's not that tight. If it won't move at all then you would have to dig that out and loosen that lock screw. But yeah, this is an, an additional adjusting screw that will help you to line up your your light in your eyepiece to be centered. And when it's time to put it back on, go ahead and slip it on your tube. Oh, also, I wanted to show you that you can take this t elevation table off and you can re clean it and re lube it if it needs it. When you're putting it back on, again, keep it upside down if, if possible. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. But when you, when it's time to put your bearing in. Put your bearing in first. And the spring. And then the little rod. That rod goes inside the spring. and then screw it back in. And you might want to verify that it's working correctly.
correctly on your detents. You may or may not have to tighten it or loosen it a little bit, but I think tightening it all the way is too tight. So you need to loosen it up a little bit so that it'll move. Now on the head, hog stripe says that you cannot adjust the head if it's out of alignment. You have to send it in. This is the bottom. And when you send it in, you'd send it in with the whole arm. The whole arm attached to the head. That's the only you'd have to, that's the only thing you'd have to send in. You wouldn't have to send in the illumination tower. But if you wanted to see how to take that apart, there are two safety screws here and here. If you were to loosen one of those, and you could take your one side out. This is where your safety screw holds it in. And if you wanted to take this apart, you have two Phillips screws. There are two Phillips screws here. And taking those off with a razor blade, you can open it up and exposes your prisms. And there's no really adjustments on there. They look like they're glued in. But I've been told that it's possible, maybe, if you were to loosen these three Allens, you might be able to turn it, the whole prism assembly, and might be able to get some adjustment. Also, I've been told that If you were to loosen those three screws in this eyepiece cap, you might be able to get some movement and that might help you, it might help a slight, a slight alignment for one of the eyes. But I don't think or I don't know if you can get very much out of that, that much adjustment. So the only thing you could possibly do is these screws in here and turn it one way or the other, and then maybe these three Phillips, loosen them and turn it. These three Phillips, loosen it and turn it one way or the other. That's the only possible thing that I see can be done to get any kind of movement. But Hogstrite says to send it in. And it takes a while. But when they, when they send it back, they do a very nice job. And they will align your arm and head up. So, on the BC and the BD, you cannot upgrade them to a LED because there are no screws up here for you to put your, your kit on top and screw it in. So, it's, it's impossible to 
upgrade a BC and a BD to an LED. Okay, hope that's helpful and I hope it helps me to remember too. Bye.